Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix app crashing and freezing after iOS 26 update. So let's get started. First thing is you're going to go ahead and swipe up and see if you can close out pretty much all of the apps running. So just force close out all of the apps. And once you close out all of the app, the next thing you're going to go ahead and do is update all of the apps. So you're going to go to the app store and then click on your profile here and then look to see right here for upcoming updates. You're gonna click on update all. And that's because when you update the iOS, the apps also need to be updated to make sure they're running the compatible version. Now, after you have done that, the next thing you're gonna go into is go into your setting, go to general, iPhone storage, and we need to make sure we have at least 10, 15 gigs of free storage available. Because when you run apps, they require a certain amount of storage to be able to open up and run correctly. So if you're seeing apps that take up a lot of space, you can delete them, or you can delete some photos, videos, or even messages to free up some storage, that will help as well. Now, the next thing you wanna also do around is if you're having issues with the customization, sometimes they can also interfere with apps because they're not compatible yet with the latest version. So you're gonna long press and hold any app, doesn't matter. So we can get into this edit home screen, click on edit, and then click on customize and we're going to go back to the default instead of a clear or any of the other customization. Now the next thing you want to go ahead and do is basically this method. We're going to quickly press and release volume up, volume down and then hold down this side button until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo appears. So I'll do volume up, volume down and then I hold down the side button just like this here and I'm going to wait until the screen goes completely black before I let go of that side button that I'm holding down right now. So here, waiting for that Apple logo to appear. And once that appears, I let go. This is known as a force restart, which basically shuts down the phone software, reloads the code. So if it's software issues, especially after a major update, it will go ahead and fix it. This method will not delete any of your data. And if it doesn't work the very first time, try it again. Remember the process is quickly pressing and releasing volume up volume down and then holding down that side button. Now, after you have done that, the next troubleshooting to do if you're still having issues with the app, freezing, crashing, is gonna go into your setting, general, and then transfer reset iPhone, click on reset, and we're gonna reset all settings. Now resetting all settings will not delete any of your data, but again, important step to do in terms of making sure all the settings are back to normal, especially after an update, sometimes some settings get uh, messed up, which can also cause apps to crash and not work correctly. And finally, the last thing you can do is, although iOS 26 was just released, within the next week or two, we're going to see probably iOS uh, update like 21, 26.1 or so to fix any issues that they kind of notice. So in the settings, you're going to go to general software update and check, keep on checking if there's a new update that can fix previous bug fixes you're going to try to update to that latest version and i hope this video was helpful so please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks we'll see you guys next time